Well, hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Invisible Song Club. My name is Mark Davis Stallard. How are you doing? How are you doing? Sorry, how are you doing, doing Angela? I'll just give you your name. And of course, I am here with <laughs> Angela R. Campbell. <laughs> no, I'm a little confused there because you were almost going to come up on the screen as Ryan Jans, as I caught myself. So, uh, Angela uh, oh. R. Campbell. There we go. I like that name. Ryan's a good name. <laughs> Um, so welcome everybody to uh, Song Club. It's nice to see some uh, familiar names in there. Uh, particularly, want to shout out to Elna, who's saying we got to recruit more members. Uh, f- uh, and they've got five. And you've got five weeks to do that. So listen to Elna; she knows what she's talking about. And, That's um, right. And if I want to li- uh, answer to Shalim, uh, yes, I-, I think both Angela and I did both listen to the songs. Here we go. So thanks to uh, Elna and Chris also have joined us. I don't think I've missed anybody. And if you are if you are watching and uh, you would like a shout out, please just just say hi in the comments and we'll we'll say hi back. So here we are at the Invisible Song Club. My I say my name is Mark Davis Stallard and I'm the uh, the head the big cheese at the Invisible Man. .ca. Um, we do the Invisible Man show. Uh, we've got obviously the Invisible Song Club and Welcome to the Madhouse, which is on Wednesday. So check Wednesday. I'm going to be on with Adam and. Uh, Angela's with uh, Oh Just Eat It. She's head cheese. I'm the big cheese. Lots of big cheese or head cheese, whatever. The one that's good um, is uh, is Angela over there. So what's uh, Oh Just Eat It about? Well, Oh Just Eat It is a blog that I started back in 2011, Mark, and uh, I like to review and talk about Canadian music. Um, The Canadian indie music scene in Canada is and it doesn't get enough attention. And I try as much as I can to share with my small little circle of people um, what's new and what's happening and any songs that I come across that I think are just wonderful. And the Song Club is really helping with that. And I'm having a lot of fun hearing other people's opinions about the Canadian music that we're sharing here. Excellent. Now, yeah. I think I, I usually ask you the question, what is the Invisible Song Club? Should I get you to tell me what it is one more time? Because I'm, I'm a little slow. <laughs> well, Mark, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Invisible Song Club is uh, very much like a book club. So what we do is every two weeks. Uh, we started with every week and then we moved to every two weeks. And what we're doing is we're picking a song each. Mark and I each pick a song. Um, most of those songs are suggested by song club members. And we'll review that song um, with the song club. And we encourage everyone in the song club to add their comments to the comment section, either on Facebook or YouTube, and let us know what you think about the music. Um, some people love it. Some people don't love it. And that's what a song review is all about. Uh, the musicians love it that you're listening to their song. And a song club is just such a fun place for music lovers to get together. Indeed. Um, and I'd like to say as well, um, a, a positive place. So uh, while you're, uh, of course, welcome to your uh, negative opinions, we uh, just ask to be respectful with them. Uh, there we go. So this is a positive place um, to be. So uh, I say let's um, should we move on to the first song. Yes, please, Mark. Okay, so this is um, Mariachi Ghost, and the song is uh, Susanna. The Mariachi Ghost from Winnipeg, Canada summoned the ghosts of old Mexico through traditional Mexican song, haunting synths and explosive guitar lines, alongside rich harmonies, commanding lead vocals and spectral dance. Their show leaps from anguish and longing to a raging fury in a heartbeat. 
The band started as an art project among friends in 2009 and has since grown to an internationally acclaimed touring act. The Mariachi Ghost has played festival stages such as Interstellar Rodeo, the Pan American Games, and the Winnipeg Folk Fest main stage. The band has performed at South by Southwest, Talon Music Week, Mundial Montreal, and Breakout West. Their self-titled debut album won Best World Music Album at the Western Canadian Music Awards and received international radio play. In 2015, they collaborated with legendary film director Guy Madden to create a music video. The Mariachi Ghost picked up... Uh, sorry about that. I'm going to cut you off earlier, Angela. There's a bit of a long pause. Um, oh, so, probably, so yeah, like, um, that's sorry, okay. Be... And I noticed that I put a couple of wrong slides in there. So William Prince made his way into my oh. slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, we, what we'll what do... when you do it first thing in the morning. <laughs> okay, uh, I was just a little thrown off there by, by the long pause. Um, oh, uh, so, I know. So why don't we... was hard today. I kept crashing. It yeah. was rough. Uh, so why don't we just uh, then promise we'll uh, if you get that fixed uh, with the right pictures and stuff and then... We'll make sure we post that so you guys can see that in its full. So sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll post it later. Yeah. So I apologize for everyone, and we can go back, but I can't remember where we were at. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, we were at the we were at the William Prince pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, so give me a second here. I am just going to stop everything repeating. Good. It's um, a low budget. It's a low budget show, guys. We're a low yes, budget show. That's what is, happens. Uh, Negative yeah. uh, 50 bucks every week. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's how low it is. Here we go. All right. Let's get on with the uh, continue with the show. So, um, Susanna by Mariachi Ghost. Now, I'm not going to comment on the lyrics. Uh, it's, uh, it was written in Spanish, which I don't understand. And I certainly can't speak it. And because no one ever should use Google Translate to relay the emotion and poetry of word pictures from one language into another. Don't do it. Don't do it. So on with uh, on on with the review. So Susanna is an epic, emotionally charged modern take on classical Mexican music. It starts with a lead guitar playing a slow, haunting melody with trumpets playing in the background. This creates a depth to the uh, atmosphere of the song that other genres would find hard to come close to. The music seems to hang in the air expectantly, and my mind is instantly cast back to the Western movies from the nineteen seventies. The vocals come in, clear and smooth, the drums playing soft triplets on the hi-hats <clears> in the background with an occasional tap on the snare. A rhythm guitar provides a soft Latin groove, which I think is a four-string Mexican guitar, although I'm not sure of the proper name, so I wouldn't embarrass myself by guessing. Backing vocals join in, mirrored by um, a horn, and this, the sound grows in volume and body. The lead vocals reach up, and in unison, everything crescendos, and then it stops. The four-string guitar rings out and a deliberate rhythm. This is joined by what is either claves or the drummer hitting, uh, sorry, playing his sticks on the snare drum, a fast, irregular Latin rhythm. Then, quite suddenly, let the electric guitar rings out, a quick flourish. The drums come in, providing more rocking beats. This section would not be out of place in a fast-paced fast action movie. The vocals come in strong and upfront, not smooth as it was before, but fitting with the pace and drive that the song has now taken on. The powerful guitar uh, lead rings out, melodic and emotional. And the song backs off once again, and several voices join in, drawing us in again <laughs> in a short respite. But then the lead guitar comes back, and this time modulated with a slower, more deliberate melody, which increases in intensity. The song builds, and again before coming down one last time. The vocals bring the song to a close, ooing the melody played in the intro by the guitar. This song feels huge. It, it takes on the whole gambit of emotions, the highs, the lows, and it also hits us with energetic sections, then slows us down, only to bring us back up again, somehow keeping us a little off balance in an odd, satisfying way. Susanna is, in many respects, a real roller coaster of a song. Angela. Well, Mark, lots of emotion in that one. Holy. 
So what I would like to say about the song is, um, first of all, I'm a, I'm a big Mariachi Ghost fan. They give a phenomenal live show. If you ever get a chance to see them live, they're just incredible. There is much uh, video, uh, sorry, there is much um, visual art performers as they are musicians. Um, they make excellent videos. They they do an excellent stage show. They have this uh, lady dancing during their shows. They wear their, um, uh, you know, Mexican paint on their face and just like, it's just so beautiful. But what I'd like to tell you about their music is that you really should not just uh, listen to it from YouTube, but uh, go online and download their music and listen to a very well recorded song of Susanna with your headphones on because these guys are excellent musicians. They're, it, the music is beautiful. Um, and you can really get carried away in the whole love song theme of this music, uh, even a bit of tragedy in it. And, um, you know, there's one way to listen to Mariachi Ghost, and that's watching their visual performance, watching a, a video of them or watching them on stage and getting carried away by the visual aspect of it and the music just being sort of, theme song ish in the background uh, of the visual. And the other way to listen to it is to just listen to deeply to the music that they're playing because they're, they're great. And the whole idea of listening to this ethnic style music is just so cool. And I always say that I don't care about the words, like the words don't matter to me. I don't speak Spanish. I don't know what they're talking about, but it doesn't matter because you can, you can sense it. And the man keeps saying a woman's name. So you know what it's about. Back to you, Mark. Uh, back to us. Um, here we go. Back to us. Yes. <laughs> the go. man um, and the man. Indeed. The man and the man. So um, we got a couple of comments in the... Um, a couple of comments. Let me just catch up here. So uh, um, I'd just like to make a comment about... Um, he has enough trouble with English to bother learning another language. Um, <laughs> Shalim says, well, Mark, great comments. Thank you, Shalim. Um, um, and uh, Eleanor says, Angela just reminded me, nothing to do with the song. Angela just reminded me of one of my school teachers. She also looked over her glasses instead of through them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's I am going to... Look. Yes, and I am going to miss this. I, I did skip over it, but I am going to mention this one uh, they winnipeg members of the song club should have a night out to see mariachi coast that's probably a good idea let's go do that okay mm -hmm. um on to let me see i've got a couple yep so shalim um, has a uh, has a has a review so we'll uh um so mariachi coast susanna from their 2019 album puro dollar which means pure pain i just might be the only member of the song club who owns a cd by this winnipeg band I have their 2013 self-titled debut. For me, the appeal to of this is the music uh, more than the song. The song structure is quite varied. At times, sounding like David Gilmour in Pink Floyd and places, it's complex enough to be something that most people probably can't remember and can't sing along to in the shower, but the music is very well played, produced, and sounds great. Yeah. The band will... I'm assuming the band will have longevity. I'm trying to, I'll read this out. Band will longevity often have decades long appeal. I think well, I get the gist of that. They'll they'll be around for a long time, as opposed to having hit songs. Artists who rely on hits are often forgotten quickly um, when the hits dry up. With costumes and makeup, these guys have a unique live show and um, have a have made a name for them. For themselves as the band as a band worth seeing their sound isn't for everyone but most importantly it's clearly their sound few artists today can say that they have a unique identifiable sound by the way singer jorge rekinia i think i said his first name right so apologies for the last name is also the artistic director of the west end cultural center i did not know that thanks for that shalim um, yeah, they work very much with the visual artists in, in Winnipeg. Yeah. Uh, also, um, uh, and uh, so Schlegman says also enjoyed Angela's comments right on the money. And Chris says that was me. And I'm wondering if that was what what was me. 
Okay, whatever. I think I've missed, I probably misquoted somebody. So I won't go back on that one. Correct me in the comments, Chris, if it was something important. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so so shout out to the Rafael Reyes, who is a member of Mariachi Ghost, right. and he's a Facebook friend of mine. And um, yeah, excellent musician. Just so yeah. good. I'm a big fan. They, they have a lot of fans in Manitoba, actually, because they're from Manitoba and they've toured a lot in Manitoba. They have a very loyal following. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I, what I did, I did want to say, Angela and I were talking off air while um, this is an act fan. This is a phenomenal piece of music. And I think in context, um, I, I would ordinarily love this. The uh, Particularly, I thought we were talking about, um, if I saw them live, I'm sure I would have, I would even if I just heard the song and heard them play live, I probably would have gone out and bought half their merch. But sitting down in yeah. my basement, I, it didn't really grip me. Um, I didn't dislike it. Um, and I think that a couple of things that um, Angela said, I think something that Shalima said there, um, is I, I, I found that it was nothing really to grip. I liked, like, there, was no, there was no hook pulling me through it. Um, it was difficult to remember, as you said, Shalim. And uh, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the twists and turns were, were expected. I, I wasn't particularly surprised by it. But having said that, to put it in this perspective, I mean, it had some good, it did pull out some really good memories, right? The movie memories, right? From the 70s um, cowboy shows to a fast-paced modern action movie. I mean, this, there's no doubt this is epic sound. And I think that I'd love to go see them live because I know I would become a big fan of them if I did. Just not sitting in my basement and listening to the song out of context. Yep. Good points. Any more comments on that one, or should we move on? Yes, uh, yeah. Just a clarify, a clar just a clarify, just a clarify. Uh, Chris was the one that said he wasn't good at learning languages. That's what that meant. So oh, that's why you okay. were correcting me on. Um, and uh, Elna's um, suggesting that uh, she can teach everybody some a couple of words in Af Afrikaans. That'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Elna had um, some issues with this song because she thought it was scary <laughs> until I until I explained to her um, what the makeup meant, which I would have to look up again because I forget what I said to her. But um, uh, yeah, the uh, the the tradition of that makeup and the what is it called the um, the March of the Dead, I think they call it in Mexico, and they. Uh, they celebrate their ancestors, basically. So people who've passed away. Um, so that's what it's about. It's not. It's not Halloween scary stuff. It's uh, actually oh. a celebration of their history and their ancestors. Well, I didn't so, know that, but now you said put it in it's, a nicer, nicer context. Now you said it. It's obvious. Um, yeah. And I'm a, as soon as you said uh, the, the Day of the Dead or whatever. It's uh, go watch yeah. the opening scene to the James Bond movie Spectre. Because there's a big, like a five minute one, one camera shot that goes right through the crowd and everything. If nothing else, just watch the movie for that opening scene. Anyhow. Okay. That was great. I'll we'll have to hey. check that out. Yeah, for sure. So I Mark, the next that. video is one whole minute long. Please don't cut it off. It's just one okay. minute. Okay, I'll walk away <laughs> from patient. my- Be patient. I will walk away from my Trigger keyboard. finger. <laughs> Yes, don't, don't pause for more than two seconds because that, that makes me panic. Okay. <laughs> well, I might pause, but give it a minute. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Ooh, I would say I'm lost, but I've heard there's much to do. Wild Horse are an original indie band from East Sussex. Lyricist Jack takes inspiration from daily life, relationships, and naturally the experiences of being a politically charged Gen Zer living in a chaotic social and political landscape. With an extremely mature songwriting style far beyond their years, Wild Horse continue to excite, engage, and captivate their ever-growing audience with each release. The East Sussex Boys are renowned for an exciting, powerful stage show, having honed their craft from an early 
age at all the iconic venues in London and the Southeast, as well as several festivals, often playing the same stages as many of their heroes once did. Henry and Jack both take turns on guitar, bass, and keyboards from track to track. Occasionally, Henry may add some stunning harmonica, and always Ed is keeping everything in time with his superb drumming. All three add their voices to excellent vocal arrangements. The reviews of their songs have been brilliant and extensively played on many a radi- many radio stations worldwide. Their tracks and albums are available on all major platforms. With four albums already under their belt, more tracks are always incoming. Wild Horse didn't waste lockdown and were busy writing and arranging. The song we're reviewing today is called The Room. Here we go. So, uh, The Room... Make sure my microphone's working that. We're good. Uh, the Room uh, by Wild Horse. Uh, the Room is a poignant song which both lyrically and musically takes us to the strange place that was 2020. There is an immediate emotional drive which has a few ups and downs throughout the entire song where brought into a world uh, that we all experienced, forced into lockdown to spend who knows how long in virtual solitary confinement. And this song captures this nicely from the perspective of a teenage songwriter. A fresh pop rock feel that, that is at the same time both musically bright and infused with melancholy. The song starts with a twangy electric guitar riff rife with reverb and a rhythmic bass. The drums come in after a few bars with a short flourish and a heavy crash of cymbals and an upfront snare. The vocals come in with full emotion. The voice is gravelly and powerful. The hi-hat rolls, the snare hits the third beat sharp and loud, and the lyric sets the scene. In the room, got me feeling like I'm someone new. I think that really captures it well. The surreal feeling, the almost out-of-body experience many of us felt during lockdown, and of course the mention of Zoom. While this might prematurely date the song, it has been a major part of the experience for everyone. Um, So it's a fitting addition. The chorus moves directly into the verse and the electric guitar rings out an occasional clear, brief chord. The vocals pull back slightly, holding notes longer with a more contemplative feel and were led into the story. Now the subject of the song missed his 18th birthday celebration, almost among everything else that happened in the world that year. After a repeat verse, the chorus... Uh, Sorry, after the repeat verse and chorus, the song moves into a middle bit and the instrumentation pulls back. The backing vocals uh, come in and hold an ooh Mm -hmm. as the staccato delivery of the lead vocal presents more than a hint of desperation. The chorus is repeated and the song comes to a close, mirroring the introduction, which provides a very satisfying bookend. The lyric is really descriptive and captures the lockdown and the whole social distancing thing in a way I think many of us were feeling. For example, here is the words from the middle bit. I don't know if I can take more honey. Panic buying with my furlough money. I'm breaking down because this year seems so promising. I've been, it's been a write-off. More hate and less love. It seems we're going backwards. With The Room, Wild Horse have captured a moment in time with this song. It's a snapshot of emotion, both musically and lyrically. A year we might otherwise want to forget, and yet they do it with a level of freshness and lots of talent. Angela. In stark contrast to the song Susanna, where everyone was saying that it's not it's not a catchy song, it would be hard to remember it. Um, the room, I mean, everything rhymes with room, right? <laughs> So it's very easy to sing along. Even if you don't know the words, you can make them up. You just rhyme with room and zoom. <laughs> and uh, I really enjoyed the song because it was just uh, it was just relaxing to listen to. And the thing I liked the most about it was the drums. I'm a big fan of percussion. The drums in the song are beautiful. I love the hi-hat rolls. And um, the song has some surprises. Uh, they take a little pause with the instrumentation and they just come in with the vocals. Um, There's not a lot of harmonies going on here. Like in Susanna, there was a lot of harmonies. Uh, The mariachi ghost is known for that. But in this song, it was the lead singer is the lead in the song. And he um, 
he really like has a nice voice and takes you along uh, on his little personal journey that he's gone through. So I gave this song a thumbs up. I liked it. It was enjoyable to listen to. And um, I would like to caution all of you when you're looking up this band. Um, they're called Wild Horse, not Wild Horses. There is a UK, an old UK band called Wild Horses, but this is these are young guys, Wild Horse. I had a hard time finding them. And we also have a Canadian band called Wild Horse. So you'll find that that's a hard uh, band name to look up online. So just look up Wild Horse UK. They have their own website. And Mark has posted the links for that. And um, I encourage you to check them out. They're great. Back to you, Mark. Again, back to us. Um, back to us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe by next season I'll learn to say that. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. But it's those, it's those little foibles to really let, let people know that this is not pre-recorded. There we go. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think it's uh, pretty obvious this is not pre-recorded. We'd be a lot more perfect if there was. <laughs> <laughs> or well, scripted. I, 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 I'd find that hard, he says, uh, being incredibly modest. Um, there we go. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were talking about uh, Mark's graphics, and I was saying he should – he has a lot of graphics um, – and some heckler cartoons that he's created for the Invisible Man show. And I, I said, Mark, you should create some of that, you know, just use your, your same cartoons and add in some new audio for the Invisible Song Club. And he's like, no, does it work that way, Angela? Each, each frame of that cartoon is, you know, is special. <laughs> I don't know what he said. I mean, he didn't say special, but it's, I won't. Uh, I won't quote him. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot more to moving a mouse, a mouth, rather, or my mouth. Yeah, Mark is mouse. very talented. He he does a lot for the yes. show, and I really appreciate it. Yeah. We they, should they, all appreciate Mark. Yay! They don't take that long. I think writing them takes writing them takes more long than, <laughs> longer than it does to do the animation. But it can take uh, weeks to come up with something that's original. Um, and I think I just came up with twelve original ones for the show, and we've played a couple of them. Uh, new ones uh, yesterday, um, yeah. But I actually wrote about twenty-five, and then every time I, w- I would read through it a second time, and like, oh, that's not funny. And then I'd r- record the vocals. Well, I can't make it sound funny, so I'll cross those out. And then like everything sounded funny after I recorded the vocal, the the, the words. And then I went to animate it, and like I can't. So I ended up down from over twenty, twenty-four, down to twelve, because that's how hard it is to yeah. just try and get it all to them anyhow this is not the show for you're that, appreciated and and everyone if you missed our show yes yesterday we did we did the season finale for the invisible man show and yes. i was a, a guest co-host on that as well as um ryan jans and um adam feasy and it was a lot of fun so if you missed us tune yeah. in yeah go back go back and look yeah um yeah okay um i'm gonna read these in chronological order um, Elna has a crush on the young, the, one of the young guys in the band. Um, we'll just oh. we'll go past that one. Sorry, Elna. Um, then, oh uh, yeah, there's a little bit of back and forth about. Uh, we did interview them on the Invisible Man show about a year ago. Uh, a couple of very, oh, like three very level-headed uh, young men. They know what they want, and they've really proved themselves. I think uh, um, just, just a pro- professional musician. So, go uh, watch that if you ha- um, if you haven't seen it already. It's in the, um, the our YouTube channel. Uh, or if you want an easier way to look for them, go to the website, uh, theinvisibleman.ca, click on the uh, Invisible Man Show tab, and it'll be a lot easier to browse down, I suspect. Try one of those out. There you, there you go, fun. Elna. You can go and watch them all you like. <laughs> that crush of yours. Indeed. Um, and it looks like Motley's joined us. Hi, Motley. I'm looking uh, at YouTube, and no one's commenting on YouTube. I'm, I'm disappointed. Yes. But yeah, in, no, the I, news, I think everybody... in the new season... Mark, tell them about the new season and where the comments will be. Yes. Actually, you won't be able to comment on Facebook because you won't even be able to see us there. Uh, we are moving the Invisible Man Show and the Invisible Song Club to YouTube only. Um, and part of the reason that is that we uh, had so, many tr- so much trouble over the last uh, few months uh, just even checking my messages, um, let alone making posts. Um, I can't. I still can't live stream with my accounts. I mean, we're actually using Adam Feezy's right now uh, to live stream onto Facebook, and we just want to simplify everything and just put everything in one location. Um, you can yes. still join early, even though we we actually start the stream in one or two minutes um, when we when we intentionally do it. So we want to do it about a minute or two early. Today we're a couple of minutes late 
for no reason. We just got talking amongst ourselves. Um, yeah, um, we were having we, too much fun. We, we were, we were. Um, but you can hang out in the YouTube chat before we go live, and you can continue with the uh, um, the community chats uh, before we we join. So um, you're not going to. Please make, do. You, we you, encourage you, that. Yeah, you won't miss anything, and then it'll be a lot easier. Everybody will be on the same platform and on the same spot as well. So there you go. I think that's it. We're going to make some uh, minor changes. Um, we're going to make some major changes to the Invisible Man show, which I went over a little bit yesterday. Um, and I'm going to. I'm one of those things I did hint at. I think I actually said it. Um, I'm looking at a different way of doing the reviews, so uh, they're just a, a, little, a little tighter. Um, but obviously, uh, Mark wants it to be perfect. I do. He I wants do. everything perfect. Yeah. And um, I'll probably be doing some additional. Uh, reviews as well for the blog uh, so what we i think what we're doing about 18 shows a year every second week plus a, t a two month break in the summer maybe a couple of weeks in the um in uh, december january uh, we've got about 18 shows and there's no way everything that, just the ones that shalim himself has suggested there's no way we can do all those in one year um so i think what i'm going to do is i, I want to i'll pick out a few that i like and then i'll write some reviews about that um and we'll try that as an ongoing thing but uh no promises of yeah. how long it'll go. By the, by the way, Mariachi Ghost was suggested by somebody in the song club, and I'm very sorry. I'd like to do a shout-out, but I can't remember who it was. They tried to go back and find who it was, and I, I couldn't find it. So, But thank you, whoever it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... So we are um, also um, making all of our links available on the invisibleman.ca and ohjusteatit.ca, our websites. We're not dependent on Facebook. The Song Club is not dependent on Facebook. And um, we're on YouTube and we're on our, we have the videos posted on our websites as well. And if uh, anything happens to YouTube, if YouTube suddenly falls down and crashes, then we'll just go to another platform. We don't care. Yep. Um, yep. You know, yeah, we're, so, we're here and we're doing our thing. Yeah, yeah so get, get familiar with the invisibleman.ca. If anything does happen, uh, I will, that will be the first place that we, we update. So go and check that out. And, uh, um, and Absolutely. Then, uh, and I'm not sure how quickly Angela will be able to get to updating. Oh, just he did, but that's, there's another good option as well. So bookmark those now. Was that a criticism? Was that a criticism? Mark? It was. It was. <laughs> uh, you're awful um, to your own brand. Um. You know, yeah. You know. You, you know what though? Like, I'm not getting paid for this, so whatever. <laughs> and you're worth every penny. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. We've got some, we do have some comments. Um, I'm just kind of there's a little chat going on between everybody, so I'm just trying to filter through. Um, Elna says, "Mark reviews are always good." I need a dictionary afterwards, though. Okay. Well, Apparently. that's because you speak Afrikaans. Um, or, or, although I think it's pronounced <laughs> Khans, Afrikaans. I think Khans, anyway, well, Afrikaans. Well, only if you have an English accent. Do you speak Afrikaans? No. See? That's, that's, sorry, that's about as good as I can get. Like, I'll, I'll end up All becoming right. East Indian if I try any more with that one. Um, oh, Shalim's actually posted the uh, the episode um, in the comments, so the link to the Wild Horse um, episode, July 25th. It was. That was exactly oh, nice. a year ago. Well, that was completely... Oh, no, it's a, no, it's a June. It's June. Damn it. I'm edit, I'll edit that comment. Thank you for your help, Shalim. That's that great. was nice of you. Okay, now Shalim has got his comment, and uh, let's give this a read. So, Wild Horse the Room. This sounds immediately like something from the police. Yes, it does have that uh, oh, kind of 80s kind of pop, yeah. pop rock kind of feel to it. Anyway, that's my comment, not his. Um, 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 a band I love. It develops into a, a light, funky, slow burn that may also be appealing to fans of Coldplay. The song definitely grows on you. Listen to it several times and you'll see what I mean. At first, I first heard Wild Horse on the Invisible Man show in July. They performed some songs live, and I was impressed enough to buy their CD. Uh, we are in an identity crisis, but we love it. It was uh, on constant play in my car for weeks. The music is not overtly complicated with the catchy harmonies. It has an appeal that is made for radio without sounding overtly commercial. Overtly commercial music sounds more like product than art and can burn brightly for a short period of time, and then it often and then is often forgotten forever. I found the rest of the CD to be actually more appealing than this fine song. I would encourage people to check out this band. Were the 
pop music market not so terribly crowded, these young lads uh, could uh, be getting much more attention, all of which they richly deserve. So thank you, Shaleen. Um, yeah. They actually, in, in the UK, they are getting a lot of attention, Shaleen. Um, the BBC has um, been very supportive of them. And every radio station is playing their music. They actually, over the, on the other side of the pond, are very popular. Indeed. Um, so, Shalim says, uh, um, also enjoyed Angela's comments. We appreciate you. Um, oh, um, Elna says, make an, uh, an African invisible fan cartoon that represents me. Uh, I'll take that into consideration. We'll, we'll make a note. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to make a note. Because yeah. it's all about you, Elda. <laughs> El, oh, it. my pencil broke. Love it. My pencil how broke. Are gonna oh. How are you going to dress her in the cartoon? We don't know what she looks like. How are you going to dress her? She has pictures on Facebook. Oh, okay. All right. But we'll see. I, I, I don't want to uh, offend anybody with uh, some weird characters. <laughs> Maybe she but, uh, can make some suggestions but, uh, about her but if, but if it just has to be representative, it doesn't have to look like them, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. It's anyway, easy to we'll, represent we'll, me because I wear we'll, the I wear the pink glasses. We'll you know. see. Um, I'm, not, I'm not very good with accents. I can usually only do one, like one sentence, and then I end up being becoming Welsh or East Indian. Um, so um, I'm, I'm not very good. So we'll see. If we can get someone else to do the voice, maybe as a call out, and some writers. I need some writers. This takes this is a lot of work. Yeah, um, get, get, record record Elna's voice. Get her to do her own voice. Give her a script. She can send you. She can send you an MP4 or MP3 of her uh, of her audio, right? Right, it's Elna. Possible, it's possible. It's possible. Come on. Okay. Pitch in. <laughs> so Motley says to Elna, "How do you know they haven't already? Uh, and it's just invisible." Cool. I like the way you think. Oh, get, get me out of extra work. I like that. Yeah, we need. <laughs> yeah, we need to use that more often, Mark. We need to use. Yeah, we're doing that, but it's invisible. Yeah, good one. Um. Oh, Elna says, I, in, oh, in, Elna says I, I'm, showing, I'm showing about the, my accent. I did it perfectly. Uh, well, thank you. Um, yes, I got a tip years ago that the Australians will talk with the tongue. Sorry, the uh, um, South Africans talk with the tongue right in front of their mouth. And the Australians, they put, the, they put the, um, the tongue right at the back of their throat, and it makes it a lot easier for that one or two sentences. Is that how then, they do it? I, God, I, well, that's how, you, that's, that's how you mimic them. You know, or because they used to be prisoners, they had to talk to the corner of their mouth. And they go, all right, right, how's it going? Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but that's there what I've are, heard. There um, are quite a few Australians out there offended by you, Mark. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm sure most of the Australians are, that I've met um, either are proud of their of being convict stock or I don't care. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> um, it's going to be, it's gonna oh. be uh, interesting in the new season um, for the Invisible Song Club because things are opening up here in Manitoba and we'll actually be able to get out and see live music in the near future. And so I don't know about you, Mark, but I might uh, check out a few things, at least That's outdoors indeed. initially. Indeed. Yeah, um, and um, and then that might give us a little more to talk about too, you know, because yeah. we'll be out and about, out in the boot, as we say in Canada. Out in the boot, eh, you hoser? Out in the boot. Um, I had something I was going to say. Um, I can't remember. All right, it'll come back to me if it was important. Um, uh, Sorry, says, I interrupted you as I do. Uh, that, oh, well, actually, I'm just reading the comments. Um, but then I thought, anyway, whatever. Um. So there's a, bit, a little bit of a chat back and forth just about uh, uh, some people have uh, looked into uh, Wild Horse before the show. Uh, Motley says, who's uh, our vocal um, member from the UK, he says he's never heard of them before. So, so go check them out, uh, Motley. Okay. They, are, All right. they are fantastic. Uh, certainly, if We are uh, happy to introduce you uh, to them. Definitely would be a good addition to your collection. I don't know if anyone knows, but uh, Motley... Uh, has set himself a goal of uh, of uh, building a full year's worth of music, um, physical music like CDs, the physical copies, so that he could play it nonstop for a full year. That's the goal. Whether he will play that for a full year or not, but he'd like to be, have the po he'd like to be able to. I and love our club of musical fans, like music fans. Like we just we have the best people 
in the Invisible Song Club. Like they all just love music. And it's my favorite subject. I know it's Mark's favorite subject. And we love talking to you guys about it. It's just, it's become so much fun for me to um, get online with you guys every two weeks and just, you know, hear what you have to say and be able to introduce you to something new. And I just having so much fun with this. And this this show was born through COVID because we wanted to get together with people and not be so isolated and uh, still keep music alive, especially for me, the Canadian music industry. And um, yeah, you guys have been just great. You're just, you're so good. And, and uh, quite a few of you buy music, like you purchase online music. Love it. Indeed. Um, uh, Chris says, it's all about us. And I'm assuming he was mentioning Referring to the comments that, yes, this show is all about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is all about you. <laughs> Indeed. Um, I'm just scrolling through here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that's done for comments. Although I did see a comment from Shalim saying, Chris's comments on the songs? Question mark. So did Chris leave some comments and I missed them? Or is he saying, Chris, leave some comments? I don't think I saw any. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so if I did miss your comments, Chris, I do apologize. Um, okay, so I think that was all I had. I've made a couple of notes and I've got some to dos here, apparently. Um, to dos? Apparently, at you. you've been making me work. Um, you've been fi- finding me things to do. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think we talked about what we we're going to do next year, I think. We'll, uh, we'll be back. Um, oh, actually, what date will we be back? Uh, was that. Uh, early was that the first sunday in september i don't have the calendar open right now i know that we're taking july and august off yeah it's okay. so i guess it will be the first sunday we will put a poster up and then you guys will yeah we absolutely will we're coming back so uh, yeah. I, we think it's the first sunday and we'll put in... It in the comments when we post the video yeah so it'll still be the first probably the first sunday in august but what don't take my, my word until you've seen it in writing um, so yeah, so I think we're good. So thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for joining us. It's been great. You've been um, really appreciate uh, you taking part uh, for the last six months or more. Um, we Shalim love says, you all. Um, Shalim says a great show once again. Lots of fun. Thanks to the hosts for their ter- terrific efforts. Thank you, Shalim. Very much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chris, I uh, did leave a comment. So I better give him due attention. They, the songs, were great. He says. Oh, awesome. There we go. So we did get a comment. Well done, Chris. <laughs> um, Elna says two months. Um, OMW, oh my word, I guess. You are so cruel to us, Angela. Yeah, it's Angela's fault. <laughs> um, I, I, I asked for a month off and she said, let's make it two. And I was going to say, <laughs> let's make it three just to not be uh, outdone. But I'd say, you know. I'm going to be swimming. It's going to be a nice warm <laughs> summer here and I'm going to swim. We have very long, long, depressing winters here in Winnipeg, Elna. So you don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and I'm going to be actually working a little bit. So I'm going to be taking a bit of a break. Uh, and I'm going to be doing some more creative, uh, creative stuff. I'll probably be working on some content for the show, um, yeah. for the song club for sure. I'll be working on figuring out my. Uh, reviewing um, process there, see if I can get things uh, get things where I want them to be. They're not quite there yet. Um, working on some animations, well, uh, and all all kinds of other other fun stuff for the show. Yep. Plus, yep. we are planning a live Invisible Man show here in Winnipeg as soon as it opens up, and but more importantly, as soon as we think the audience will come. Um, we're already talking right. with um, Jared Adams. And Black Eyed Susie, who are going to be our guests. So Ryan and I will be hosting with Angela, who will be jumping up and down on the stage and schmoozing um, with the crowd, I'm sure. And so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be a little tiny bit of interview, but lots and lots of music and a bit of a round table of songs and a big, massive crescendo of uh, everybody on stage all at once for a grand finale. So we uh, we've got some almost solid plans. So we'll let you know. When yeah. those yeah. come out, or when we, when those come together properly, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Referring back to Elna's comment that we are still creating content. We're not like we're going away from the Invisible Song Club podcast temporarily, but we'll still be creating content. So, don't worry, we're still here, and we'll talk to you on Facebook too. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, so apparently, OMW doesn't mean no my word. According to Molly, means on my way, and she's hunting me down. 
Um, oh, okay. Chris wants to know, I guess from yesterday's show, uh, how was your bikini? <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. I was very happy to order a bikini from Amazon and have it actually fit. I was- <laughs> So I'm proud of myself that I got, you know, to a point where I could wear a bathing suit again. And um, the pool was just gorgeous. I'll post a I'll post a picture of the pool on Facebook for you so you can see it. And it was just um, we actually, you know, Winnipeg opened up this weekend again um, for the first time in a long time. And I actually got to go visit some friends, swim in their pool, have a couple of drinks. And oh, my God, it was just wonderful. Just loved it. And oh yeah, that's and, uh, gonna be my summer now. You just you just uh, reminded me of a prompt. Uh, so Ryan was over a couple of days ago, uh, recording some bass lines for a couple of songs. It's nice. coming over. So hopefully we'll be uh, everything will work out tomorrow, and we'll record another couple. So as long as things open up, we'll be uh, some the um, it's all in the mind. We'll produ- be producing a couple of song, a couple of new CDs. Uh, an EP to start with, five songs, which we're entitling The Invisible Man, which has the theme tune on it. And then um, we'll have a, a CD of 10 songs, probably. We may break it up into EPs. We'll see. But uh, That is um, very exciting. So, Make sure yes. you let me know because I'll share the shit out of it for you, Mark. Indeed, that would be great. Okay, so thank you very much, Angela, for joining me once again, for making this such a fun show. Uh, thanks to everybody else for making it even funner. And we will catch you all on the, on the Invisible Song Club in two months, so September. But uh, if you want to hang out on Facebook, I'll be on from time to time. Uh, I'm not going to give up the posts, and we'll be... Uh, um, of course, you can check out the old stuff on the theinvisibleman.ca um, as well. And, uh, oh, just eat it. I should mention that. Thank you very much, everybody, and we'll catch you That's all great. in a couple of months. I'll see you on Wednesday in the uh, Welcome to the Madhouse, and I'll see you in one month on the Invisible Man show. Okay, thanks a lot, and we'll catch you all then. Thank Bye-bye. you, everyone.